Hi friends, today we're going to read Pirate Mom. Do you have a pirate mom? <laughs> that would be an interesting mom, wouldn't it? Well, let's see why this person has a pirate mom. I'm gonna share my screen. Pirate Mom. All right, and let me move my little picture out of the way here. There. First chapter is called The Hypno Trance. Arr, said Pete. He swished his pirate sword. He jumped on his pirate bed. Come downstairs, pirate Pete, called his mom. Pete told Teddy to guard the loot. Pete ran downstairs. Will you play pirates with me? He asked. Pete's mom said no. Pete's mom never wanted to play pirates. She didn't like pirates. She said pirates were not polite, but she had a nice surprise. Wow, Pete said. Tickets to see the amazing Marco today? Pete and his mom went to the show. The lights dimmed. The crowd got quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Marco, boomed a voice from behind them. The amazing Marco pulled a rabbit out of his hat. Ooh, said the crowd. The amazing Marco cut Zelda, his helper, in half. Ah, said the crowd. It was time for Marco's most amazing trick the hypno-trance. The amazing Marco picked Pete's mom. He told her she was getting sleepy. Pete's mom closed her eyes. What should she be when she wakes up? Marco asked the crowd. A pirate, Pete called. The amazing Marco turned to Pete's mom. When I clap my hands, you'll be a pirate, he said. He clapped his hands. Pete's mom opened her eyes. Arr, she said. I'm a salty old pirate. Give me your loot. Everyone cheered. Suddenly, Zelda ran on stage. Your wife is having a baby, Zelda told the amazing Marco. Yikes, cried Marco. The show's over, folks. He ran off the stage. Wait, Pete called. My mom is still a pirate. Oh, that wears off most of the time, said Zelda. Most of the time, cried Pete. But Zelda was gone. Pirate Problems Pete and Pirate Mom walked home. It was not easy. Pirate Mom tried to fight with Miss Reed. She called Mr. Collins a bilge rat. She stole underwear from Mrs. Burt's clothesline. He was glad to get Pirate Mom inside. Pirate Mom fell asleep on the couch. Pete hoped the pirate spell would wear off. He went out to play. An hour later, he came home. Yikes, he cried. A pirate flag flew over his house. Pirate Mom stood in the yard. She wore an eye patch and a pirate headscarf. Pete's parrot sat on her shoulder. Pirate Mom swished a wooden spoon at the mailman. Arr, said Pirate Mom. Arr, said the parrot. Ugh, said Pete. <laughs> Pete dragged Pirate Mom inside. Now Pete was really worried. His mom had a job. She couldn't go to work with an eye patch and a pirate scarf. She couldn't go to work with a parrot on her shoulder. Whew, we need to find the amazing Marco, said Pete. Ding dong. The doorbell rang. Pete told Pirate Mom to wait in the kitchen. You scurvy lad. I will not, said Pirate Mom. Ding dong, ding dong. Pete thought fast. There's loot in the kitchen. Shiver me timbers, why didn't you say so? Pirate Mom ran out of the room. Pete peeked out the door. A bunch of people pushed past him. They had come for the PTA meeting. There was a crash in the kitchen. What was that, asked a man. Pirate Mom burst through the door. She waved a frying pan in the air. Yo, ho, ho, she said. Give me your loot. Oh, my, said the people. Pete thought fast again. Mom thinks you should have a costume party, Pete said. It's a good way to raise money for the school. What a wonderful idea, said one of the men. All in favor, say aye. Aye, said the people. Aye, said the pirate. Arr, said pirate mom. Marco's surprise. Pete had to find the amazing Marco. Marco's wife had just had a baby. So Pete took Pirate Mom to the hospital. He asked a nurse where the amazing Marco was. No pirates, said the nurse. Wait here, he told Pirate Mom. The amazing Marco was with his new son, the fabulous Harold. Come quick, Pete said. My mom is still a pirate. They went to find Pirate Mom. The nurse was hiding under his desk. Pirate Mom was gone. Pete and Marco heard a voice down the hall. Hand over the loot. Pirate Mom was talking to two men. Draw your swords, you yellow-bellied bandits, said Pirate Mom. 
We're not bandits. We're doctors, they said. Pete turned to the amazing Marco. I like pirates, Pete said, but it is hard having a pirate for a mom. Oh, dear, said Marco. I'm very sorry. Marco snuck up on pirate mom. He told her she was getting sleepy. He told her it was time to be Pete's mom again. He clapped his hands. She woke up. Where are we? What happened? Asked Pete's mom. Marco turned you into a pirate, said Pete. Don't be silly, said Pete's mom. She bumped into a wheelchair. Maybe you should take off your eye patch, Pete said. Pete's mom put her hand on her face. She felt the eye patch. Oh my, she whispered. The next day, Pete found a letter under the door. It was from the amazing Marco. His mom read the letter. Sorry for all the trouble. Please accept this gift. Two bits of paper fell out. They were tickets for the amazing Marco's next show. Oh no, said Pete's mom. Oh no, said Pete. Ah, said the parrot. <laughs> oh, that was a cute story. I like that one. <laughs> I don't know. It would be fun to be a pirate for a little bit, but I could see it being a problem, especially if you were a mom. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.